Uh, hello everybody, I am Mark Anthony, I am the Vegas Tourist, and welcome back to my channel. What does me standing at the end of Las Vegas Boulevard have to do with McCarran International Airport hitting 50 million passengers? Well, that kicked back in, in, into gear the plan to build a second airport. This had been started the planning stages back in, in the 1990s, in the early 2000s, it really got going. 2010, they were supposed to start the environmental impact statement out here. There's 6,000 acres to my side over here. The I-15 is, is over there. This is going to be the Ivanpoe Airport. The Karen Airport, Las Vegas International Airport, can only handle 55 million tourists, passengers. And, and yes, that is a lot of people. At the 95% mark, that is when they needed to kick everything back into action so that they can start to plan this airport. Two years for the environmental impact statement, another seven to 10 years to actually build it out. Prim is five miles that direction. That is the California border. Behind me, 10 miles is Gene, Nevada. 30 miles behind the camera here is Las Vegas, Nevada. The plan is that once this is built, the first users will be cargo jets, the big heavy ones for FedEx and you know, UPS and all that. Then after that, what's called the long haul heavies. What was originally planned for was the 747s and the A380s. The, the A380s were the Airbus double-deckers, and of course we all know what the, the 747s are, the queen of the sky. Most major airlines no longer fly either of those jets, so that's kind of a mute point. But still, this is going to be for long hauls. If you're flying to Las Vegas nonstop, say from New York, Minneapolis, you know, Atlanta, you're going to land here. If you're flying from LA, San Francisco, you know, east of, of, of the Mississippi, you know, basically you're, you're a jet blues and your Southwest airline jets, you're still going to land back at McCarran. This is for the ones that need more space, more room, and more fuel, basically, okay? This will handle about six million passengers when it's fully up and running. This is 6,000 acres. It is the Gene Dry Lake Bed. Geologists love this area. There's a lot of stuff underneath, so I'm kind of curious on what they're going to find with the environmental Im impact statement. Um, so, yeah, that's the idea. Terminal 3 was never designed to be a main terminal. It was designed as a support terminal and it is built so that it can be reconfigured as needed. In, in the plans, there's, a, there's a, a split. And what I mean by that is if the, the idea is that if you're flying nonstop from Australia to Las Vegas or Germany to Las Vegas, you're still going to land at McCarran Terminal 3. But if you're flying from, say, Australia to LA, San Francisco, and then Vegas, you're going to land here. Don't know why the, the uh, differentiation, but it's not my plan. I-15, the very end of Las Vegas Boulevard, this is where there's there is a planned stop on the high-speed rail coming from Victorville to Las Vegas. It's, it's already in the design plan. Obviously, it's not going to be operational until this is built, but it is already in the plans. We're 30 miles outside of Las Vegas. They really don't expect you to, you know, hitchhike, but Uber, Lyft, whatever. But, okay, kind of like um, Denver where their airport is 40 miles outside of town. The reason for this is Las Vegas International Airport, McCarran in International Airport is 70 years old. We built up around it. It's a good sized airport. It's the eighth busiest in the nation. Having these heavy jets, these long haul jets flying in there and there's no room to grow. There's, there, there's no room to expand. And so they need to do this. Out, out here, you've got a lot of open land, a lot of space to grow. It, it can handle the flights. It, 
it can handle all of the changes that occur in aviation. All right, so that's the plan. There you have it, folks. I am Mark Anthony. I am the Vegas Tourist. And I want to hear your thoughts, your comments, and, and your questions about building the new second airport for Las Vegas. All of my links will be down, down below in, uh, in the show notes. I would like to hear your comments and, and your questions. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button so that you get the instant notifications. And I will see you all on the next video.